Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to your reading. This is going to be your next... Oh, it's not your next, sorry. It's your December general, okay? There will be a weekly of every 7 to 10 days. Support your readings to make sure you get those every 7 to 10 days. And also bonus content. Um, if you're a subscriber, let me know your top placements. Do check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. Because not all the time will it be your Sun sign that resonates in some of the readings. I try to keep them general so that you can place them where it is in your life. And if you want a personalised reading, you can actually email me in the description box below or my emails in the description box below for any services, even energy healing, cord cutting. Let's see what December's got for Scorpio, please, Spirit. Okay, so I've got two cards fallen out already. Three. Spirit is saying get them out. Okay, Pentacles. Nine, beautiful energy, Scorpio. So with this, what I'm really feeling is that um, you've got something coming to, to, to you. It's been quite small. It's been quite slow. It's actually a gift from the universe where you felt like you've had to, actually had to just fight and rummage through life or even certain chapters in life. Really be vulnerable, put up your defenses, have a lot of competition. I feel like a lot of you just feel like I just can't get a break. But that is changing. With the Nine of Cups, this is a gift from the universe. This is joy. And it's just been slow coming to you. This could be a new job offer. Um, it could be, oh, see, it's moving faster. It could be something that's, you know, really speaks to you with passion. Yeah, it's definitely around your career, money and finance. Um, I feel like you're also going to feel like you've got your home life in a better order or you're feeling like your uh, physical well-being is much better than what it has been if some of you have felt your physical well-being had took a dent or something like that. Um, some of you could have kids that are sort of grown-up adults basically um, and they're in your energy. Air sign and fire sign is quite potent here. There's a page of wands as well, creative ideas, king of swords, discernment, using your mental mind, and the hanged man. This is quite mixed. I feel like there's a lot of people in your energy. So you are quite passionate about something, but I feel you're quite hesitant to go forward with it. Um, I feel like you feel... Um, some of you, it's kind of like, am I too old? Some of you, it's like, I'm too junior to do this or to start this, like, it's a bit more starting from scratch. Um, and some of you are also dealing with a, a sort of a government admin paperwork as well in the month of December. Um, some of it, you need to actually release the control you're trying to take. In December, you might be feeling like, I need to take over this. I really need to control it. And the sleepless nights here is saying, actually, you need to release the control of it. You need to um, get out of your head, get out of just being on a bit of a hamster wheel. You're feeling that spark and passion within you, but you're not listening to your heart and you're not releasing control and trusting the universe to bring in this nine of cups a lot faster than what it's been doing because it's destined to arrive for you. And so we've also got the star healing card, star card here. Make a wish, it's coming to you. It's it's alignment of your physical well-being as well, like I said. So here we've got the wish fulfillment card that's coming in. You've got your nine of cups as well. And some of you could have children that are also an earth sign, okay. I wondered, I wondered if the lovers would come out. Death card and the lovers. Some of you have been trying to work on healing a relationship, okay? And this is either, you know, your past traumas around relationships, around either marriages, commitments, and what you're trying to do is align and make sure that what you've been trying to heal is that doesn't affect other areas within your life where you should have more hope and really um, more faith and not have a tainted view of things because of your personal past experiences. 
Now, for some of you, this could mean that there is a new love coming in, okay? Because we do see some rushed in energy with the Knight of Wands. So it could be someone that's quite passionate. I feel like some of you could have heavy air or uh, earth placements in your chart as well. You could also be making a, a decision during the month of December that's really had you in your head. And it's really had you thinking, is it worth actually me going back and forth with these people or should I just move on? So that could be a choice. And there we go. There's justice. I was going to say some of you it could be around a choice around a legal situation. There's Libra as well. So you might have a Libra in your energy and the Queen of Wands comes out too. Um, I do think a lot of it is to do with karmic balancing of past relationships and moving on from that heartbreak that it has caused you. And this could be recent past or current. You know, we're looking at December. Five of Wands, a lot of drama that it's caused you. You're balancing it that out with the Four of Wands, gaining your stability. I'm getting the word independence. That doesn't mean that you're, you're moving out to live alone, but you're having like a spiritual awakening that I can do this. Like, I don't have to feel like I'm insecure all alone or unstable or, you know, some of you could be thinking I've not got enough money for my savings if anything happens to me, etc. Um, but you're going to be celebrating with this. This could actually be also mean that some of you are thinking to move home, um, signing new contracts around your home after maybe living with someone, a relationship ending or a chapter of your life ending. Um, some people maybe that were living with you, I mean children or whatever, are moving out. Um, but there's going to be a celebration with family or your close loved ones here. Uh, this could also be a marriage when we see the lovers and we've got the four of ones here. So some of you could be actually ringing those bells. Um, and I'm getting the word actually... Uh, what do you call it when you renew your vows? Okay, so there's, there's different energies here that I'm picking up for different Scorpio placements. You're going to have to place it where it fits. Let's get a blessing for December, a blessing for you, the Justice card, which we have here. So Justice, karmic balance coming in for you. You know, you've had your karma and now there's a balance. There's, there's you know, where there's been uh, cause and effect, that is balancing out for you. You understand the life lessons. Any injustice that you've been experiencing, you're healing. And we've got the Nine of Cups here, the gift from the universe. And also um, any legal situation. If you're getting, if you're in a legal situation, a contractual situation you've been worried about, the blessing is around that. So it means you are going to come on top. I'd like you to look at the clock for 1111. And that's the sign for you as well. A challenge in the month of December for Scorpio, please, is the Page of Pentacles. This is actually when you're feeling a bit of um, delayed news or delayed moving on th things that are moving very slowly. Um, and you could be feeling like, I've just had enough, you know, I've invested in something, it's turned bad. You might be feeling like, I don't want any more responsibilities, Um Nothing is shifting and you need to keep a positive attitude because it is shifting for you. It's just sometimes you're going to feel that um, you've got a lack of direction and you've maybe, like I said, some lack of news coming in where you wanted things to come in. Some of you might be feeling like you're not able to think clearly in terms of making common sense discernment around certain things and that's just because you need to get out of your head again touch into your heart if we look here we've got no cups no cups so again big thing about tapping into your heart um, and it's going to lead to these celebrations as well and i really feel like you're going to overcome like the delays and what you're not being able to see as well if there's been any lies or deceit around you but don't be demanding don't be overbearing um, or allow anyone to do that to you either, Scorpio. So let's see angel messages for Scorpio, please, Spirit. Very 
first one is Ray. So it's gentle movements of your body connecting to your body. I was getting your physical body from the beginning and we said about that. You might want to do some exercises, gentle stretchings, for, which is going to be essential for your well-being, peace of mind, spiritual growth. Um, just aligning, calming that mind as well. And Vanessa's here. She looks quite rebellious in this. Um, and she's here to help you make your decision, you know. What am I thinking of doing? Is it taking me closer to where I want to go? Is it taking me closer to happiness? Is it taking me closer to my heart? Athena's here to also say it's safe for you to be powerful and know how to be powerful in a loving way that benefits others as well as yourself. Again, where I've said about the heart energy. So Scorpio, that's what I have for you. If you enjoyed your reading, please do like and subscribe. And I'm going to see you in your next reading, beautiful souls. Take care and bye for now.